Yeah. Yeah. I was his roommate at UMass. Oh, really? Yeah. Sick. Yeah, he taught me to play melee. That's why I'm so bad. <laughs> he plays Red Sheik. Actually, yeah. he's played Red Sheik as long as I've known him. He's, right? As long as I've known him. Wow. Played Red Sheik forever. Halo, uh, is this Marth guy. I feel like I comment in his sets every week, but I don't really know him that well. But that's okay. Alright, so, it, for the record, I have heard Spiff on multiple occasions. Only when drunk, though, refer to himself as the Marth, the Marth Slayer. Excuse oh, me. Well, Marth Slayer, Marth Killer. Zealous a lot, right? Well, he used to. Uh, he used to. So, uh, I mean, Zealous the best Marth in New England. So. Uh, yeah, I think Zealous cleans his clock, though. I'm not sure how they play. Ooh, nice, nice needle. Yeah, that was there. really good. Those are. That's that's why she's one of her reasons why she's so good at edge guarding. Is she's one of the few characters that can safely hit people when they're below by a drop speed. She doesn't have to commit, right? She just shoots her yeah. needle. And she can commit too if she wants to. Yeah, she can back her from ledge, and she'll almost always survive. Um. So this matchup, uh, probably debated one, right? Uh, about who has the advantage? Yeah. As a Marth player, I say she can be advantage. Yeah, she gets like easy combos. Easy combos. <laughs> what? Spiff, uh, looking like uh, extra life given those charity stocks. <laughs> but, uh, that was good. No, I think it, it's also stage dependent too, I think. I think some of the platforms uh, help me out. Yeah, I know uh, Tree, Northeastern's best Marth. Uh, does not like FD versus Sheik. Me neither. You can't get out of the combos with mm -hmm. But like, uh, for PPMD, he likes FD. Uh, just because it's big and he can dash dance a lot. Because uh, Sheik, as Dandis always says, uh, Sheik loses to dash dance. So, uh, True. being able to dash dance more is definitely, definitely a hard thing to get around. But, uh,. Yeah, so Spiff, um, both these, I believe, are going to be eligible for the upcoming Arcadian. Mm -hmm. Spiff was uh, asking if I would bet on him. I told him no, but uh, <laughs> I, it proves me wrong. I will not bet on anybody. Somebody well, they're going to do a Smash GG. Uh, oh, ver fantasy? Fantasy, yeah. I'll do so fantasy. I might pick Spiff anyway if he's a good price, but I don't think I don't think he's one of like the top eight famous to win. Yeah, you don't think he gets under seated though. You don't think it'll be a good. I think it'll be a good value yeah. just based on his. Uh, yeah, because Smith never does good, right? So we all know he's okay. So I can't say that over this. Guy. No, Spiff is awesome. Spiff definitely. Uh, definitely really top cool ten. Guy. Definitely top ten cutest Smasher. Yeah, definitely like top four Smash player in his current living house. <laughs> oh man, who is it? It's him, Tuesday, Mike Buckley, aka Slag. Doesn't Windlift come too? Uh, no, I don't think Windlift would come. Oh. Yeah, Wind so I'm Wind pretty sure good. Spiff is one of the best players in that game. Okay. Oh, wall jumps. That's really hard that on Battlefield. Yeah. yeah. Right? Ooh, nice grab. That was a great read to do that, though. Marth was not expecting Ooh, it. Hey, J Lo. Uh, so, Marth has some decent gimps on Sheik. You do, like, throw off the stage down air. Yeah. And uh, if you're. I don't think any Marths are good at it, but I think theoretically you should be able to edge guard Sheik pretty easily. Like, you don't have to. It's actually. It's hard to execute, but you don't have to make moves. So, like the wave dash, down tilt. Yeah. Or like ledge hop down air. Yeah, like edge guarding, uh, Marth is really easy if you have a read. But if you don't, it depends on what character you're playing. But uh, yeah. sometimes it can be tricky because like he has legitimate mix ups. Uh, we're, on, we're on the platform side. You see, I think these, uh, this stage benefits Marth. Yeah, so this, the platforms of this stage are awesome for Marth, right? Your moves cover like the entire platform. Mm -hmm. But uh, also, it's kind of bad for Sheik because your short hop no impact lands on the platforms, which means you can't do aerials when you're under, which super limits your yeah. options, right? Because all your tilts are crouch cancelable, and uh, so you want to do spaced aerials a lot of the time. You can still grab tilt, that's a good thing. Yeah. And you can still F tilt and hope they're bad, which is a great <laughs> I mean, it's not even like they're bad, but they can be bad in that moment. Yeah, you're just not ready to DI. Yeah. 
Oh wow, nice uh, shield drop, running grab. Man, he got those. He got that cheat Ooh, stick installed. Turn around, up smash. We were just talking about this earlier. In, uh, cheat stick shield dropping. No, no, no. The turn around, up smash. Oh. Yeah, definitely a uh, good look. I highly recommend uh, filing dodges on your controller for easy shield drops. Uh, definitely makes it a lot easier. Ooh, oh, side gets D's through the needles. That was an amazing yep. recovery by J-Lo, but he almost has D's. Spiff just charging needles, though, so he can't capitalize. I think that's a trap many Sheik players. If my Sheik does this a lot, where you just want to charge needles whenever you're bored. Yeah. But then you are, you're not applying pressure. So J-Lo playing like a hella lame over here, just uh, yeah. grabbing the ledge over and over again. Wow, and all it takes is a wave dash forward to get J-Lo off the ledge. Yeah. Well, I think he just wanted to wait out the transformation. That's respectable. True. Uh, still boring, though. We're getting a nice juggle. Nice. Yeah. She's, uh, like, her best down move is, like, down air, right? Which is not a very good down move. No. So, uh, Only good if you really have a combo. Yeah. So that's another advantage Mark has. Good tip there. So j -Lo keeping this game, if he can take the stock, he'll be doing better than he did last game. And he's already on pace to be better. Yeah. So uh, if J-Lo can take it to game three, that'd be really exciting. His stock is still healthy. Okay, right, good Nair. This is the really hard percent. For Ooh, and he yeah. takes the ledge. Nice. That's the hard percent for Mark, though, right? To kill at, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, def and things like uh, like get up Nair, or not get up Nair, like ledge hop Nair, you can send something across the stage and hope you get the edge guard on the other side. Hey, uh, J-Lo finally getting punished for his uh, upbeats not being speed spots, but you know he's been getting away with it all game, so I respect him for going for it. And also those speed spots are scary, right? You mess up yeah. and you just die. Hey, J-Lo again saying, transformations are lame, I will be more lame, ha ha ha. Spiff, Spiff, Spiff is up that stock, so he's going to try and get him out. Yeah, I mean, Sheik, he's definitely fine with this. It's not like Mark can charge anything. So, ooh, and he gets the needles. J-Lo, uh, I don't know if he knows the super cheese, though, here, where you the can spam up B. Oh, up yeah, the and then. then. Yeah. Uh, Watch this later, J-Lo. Highly recommend just spamming up B on the left side of that clip. You can insta-grab the ledge, and uh, you're going to make the up B noise a lot, which is definitely one of the coolest noises. Yeah, maybe. Spit burns that stock to close it out. 